This tutorial shows the ongoing processes when using a universal adhesive in self-etch mode featuring Fraturabon U by Voco. Here is an example of a carious lesion seen clinically in the enamel and radiographically with the typical spreading of the caries into the dentin. Activate the Fraturabon U blister by pressing firmly between the thumb and forefinger. Breaking the seal of the protective foil with an applicator, mixing until the liquid is homogeneous and completely wets the applicator. A closer look inside the bonding liquid shows the different components which are absolutely necessary to create a long-lasting adhesion between two substance and composite material. Acidic monomers are included in the mixture, which offer two different polarities in one molecule. On one hand, a hydrophilic part, which means water-loving, enables the connection to the tooth. On the other hand, a hydrophobic part, which means water-repellent, builds up the chemical connection to the composite. Furthermore, there are cross-linking monomers included that are responsible for the complete curing of the material. They are totally hydrophobic and connect the hydrophobic parts to the adhesive monomers as well as the hydrophobic composite material. Apply for Turbon U completely, wetting the entire cavity for 20 seconds. The initial acidic pH value rises during this process to a neutral level. Gently air dry, which evaporates the solvents from the adhesive. Light curing of the adhesive layer for 10 seconds with a minimum of 500 milliwatts per centimeter squared. The main components of the two substance, dentin and enamel, react differently after the application of a universal adhesive used in self-etch mode. Let's rewind the video and have a closer look at the microscopic reaction of the adhesive on the enamel as well as on the dentin. The application of the acidic adhesive provides the very important etching pattern in the inorganic enamel. The drying of the solvent and the light curing will finish the process on enamel. The wetting of the dentin with the universal adhesive used in self etch mode leads to some more complex reactions compared to enamel. During the initial acidic phase of the adhesive, the calcium on the outer surface of the tooth substance is dissolved. The dentin tubules are opened and the collagen fibers are exposed. The newly formed hybrid layer is now fixed by the gentle air drying of the solvent and light curing. Dentin tubules are reliably sealed by the adhesive which has penetrated them, creating dentin tags. By looking again at the process on the molecular level, we will understand how the chemical mechanism of the connection between tooth substance and composite material works. Due to the preparation, there is a thin water layer on the tooth. Hydroxyapatite, the main component of tooth that consists of calcium and phosphate, as well as hydroxyions. The adhesive is applied. For reasons of better clarity, only the first level is shown in the next step. Here, all components from the adhesive liquid are depicted. Once again, for repetition, the acidic adhesive monomers the cross-licking monomers, and the solvents ethanol and water. During the step of rubbing in for 20 seconds, first all the acid gets reactive. The protons disassociate and react with the hydroxy ions from the hydroxyapatite to form water. As a result, a first demineralization of the two substance takes place. The direct consequence is the dissolving of the outer surface calcium ions out of the hydroxyapatite by the existing water. The surface becomes roughened and the acidic monomers are now able to make a connection to the positively charged calcium ions out of the hydroxyapatite. During the process of drying for five seconds, the excess of solvent is removed and the molecules converge regarding their polarity. By this, the bonding layer gets very viscous. During the 10 seconds of light curing, the hydrophobic groups react with each other and build up the three-dimensional network. Here, it is demonstrated in full dimension.
After completing the very important adhesive application, a light curing filling material is applied in increments into the cavity. During the process of light curing this material, the adhesive connects by using its hydrophobic part with its free double bonds and with the free double bonds of the composite simultaneously. By adhering to the necessary light specifications and polymerization time, a strong adhesion is achieved between adhesive and composite material. Additional composite increments, which are carefully polymerized by light, completes the filling. The last increment is modeled following the anatomy of the tooth and polymerized afterward.